Hello everyone, this is David from DIY Games. Currently I have Shine Down playing in the background. Obviously I don't own the rights to it. Um, go ahead and close this door a little bit. That way uh, I don't have as much of a delay. There we go, that might be a little better. There we go, that's a lot better. Anyway, what we have today, um, I was talking to someone that wanted to see some more unique exercises. What I'm about to show you is what I consider a more unique exercise. You don't really see a whole lot of people do this one anymore. It's called Cry Babies. Um, other people have different names for it. Um, wrist curls, rope curls. You can call it whatever you want to call it, but it's still the same thing. Uh, basically what I did was I took an old dumbbell bar uh, one that you can actually change the weight out on. You can see the threads on it. Um, I'm using that one. I wrap some rope around uh, the center and there I just secured it with some duct tape. Nothing fancy. Just basically you just want it to hold on. Whatever your way is. And then I have the rope itself. On the other end of this I have a carabiner that is connected to a knot. That way I can take the carabiner on and off and change the weight out. Now for purposes of just demonstrating the movement, I just have a five pound plate on here. Now what you want to do is you want to adjust the length of the rope before you secure it. You want to make it so that just before it is parallel to the ground, it is off of the ground. Um, that way, it's in a fixed position. It will always be the same distance, no matter what. Uh, that's just one thing in particular I like. Of course, that's a preference, it's up to you. Anyway, so what you do, is right now, the weight is on the ground. I'm gonna raise my arms until they are parallel to the ground. Raise up. Now the weight is off of the ground. So now what you do, is you start curling until the weight comes up. I'm gonna go ahead and rotate, and we can see what's going on here. As you see my wrist, I'm turning them. And as you turn your wrist, the rope will wrap around the bar. And of course, that will bring the, the weight closer to the bar. Now once you get to the top, which I'll be here in just a second, here we go. Now once you get to the top, now you go backwards and you lower it. Now again, this is only five pounds. So you want to be able to lower it all the way back to the ground. Now typically, you only do this movement for one, maybe two repetitions at a time, and that is considered a set. Um, if you could do more than that, whoop, I'm all the way to the end now. If you could do more than one or two repetitions with that movement, go ahead and increase your weight. That's why I actually have a few more plates over here. I've already done several sets. I've already reshot this video several times because cats are jumping all over the place. Anyway, uh, someone was asking me about some unique exercises. I do things a little differently. Now, if you've seen this movement done before, uh, stereotypically it's going to be people that worked out in say the 70s or 80s. That's whenever this movement was primarily popularized. Um, those people that I talked to, this was probably 20 years ago. Um, they refer to it as crybabies. Now, it may be going by several different names, but you get the idea. Wrist curls, some people do uh, the same movement with say, a barbell and all they do is they just have the barbell and just curl. I like this one more just because you actually have to continuously move something and you can actually see it going from the bottom position to the top and from the top back to the bottom. Now again it's a preference but whenever I start getting to a heavier weight say uh, 20 pounds 25 pounds what I'll do is once I get to the top, I'll just go ahead and let it slide back down. 
That way I can focus more on the weight itself and not so much um, the negative. I, I focus more on the positive and the positive being the actual contraction rather than restricting. Uh, the same concept would be say when you're doing a bench press, positive would be whenever you're pushing against you, uh, I mean away from you, sorry, and then the negative will be trying to keep it from coming back down to you. That would be the negative. Same concept. But anyway, uh, if you like the video, please do a thumbs up. Feel free to share the video with anyone that you would like to. And let me know what you think about this particular movement. Now, once you have tried it, feel free to come back to the video and let me know how much weight you end up doing. I'm always curious. Now, for this movement, I've never seen anyone do more than 35 pounds on it. So if you can do more than 35 pounds going up and coming back down for one rep, I'd be real curious to see that being performed. But, uh, but anyway, um, like I said, please like, share, and subscribe. And until the next video, I have some more coming soon. Oh, and on a side note, really have to clean up my garage. But you can kind of see this particular section over here is where I'll be doing primary, primarily the videos. I have some of my dumbbells over there. I have one of my uh, benches right here directly in front of the camera. I have another one that's over here. Currently it's holding some of my lumber on top. I have the tree. I have these little small green dumbbells over here. Keep getting questions about those. I have several different barbells around. And um, I do plan on doing more videos. So please stay tuned. Like I said, like, share, and subscribe. And between workout videos as well as woodworking videos, I plan on putting out at least one video per week. Um, but anyway, until the next time.